Hey, Gio, congrats. Um, talk about the adjustment from the first half to the second half and how you address the uh, helter skelter nature of that first 45. So thank you very much, Paul. Um, yes, it, we knew it was going to be a difficult match at the first half. Um, we tried to find spaces. We tried to move the ball. We tried to go a little bit behind at the beginning of the game. But also, they were they were difficult when uh, they play their own balls. They play very direct. They tried to get in behind us. And, and they had uh, a, a few times uh, success. Um, but uh, we defended very well. And we capitalized in, in the opportunities that we had in, in the first half. I think the second half was uh, completely different. I think we, we dominated um, the entire half. I think we uh, created good chances. We moved the ball well. Um, and overall, I think a very strong performance from the guys, a well-deserved win. And, and uh, I think now we just have to continue to, to work this way. Um, so overall, I think we handle this match very well because we play against a difficult team. Caitlin Murray, Oregonian. Uh, Gio, this is the Timbers' first time reaching the quarterfinals of the Champions League. What does it mean to you to reach the stage? And um, what are what are your hopes for this tournament? And how, how do you plan on balancing it with the regular season? Of course, um, our hope is to, to try to go all the way. But we know that uh, you know uh, we have to make sure that we take one game at a time. Right now, the important part was to qualify to the next step, which uh, uh, the guys work very hard to obtain that. And uh, and now we will uh, prepare for the next match where we, we, we have to play uh, and uh, concentrate on, on that leg one uh, of uh, the quarterfinals um, and try to do our best to put ourselves in, in a good situation. So. Um, right now, we just have to take it one game at a time, but we are excited today that we were able to move forward. And we're excited as well that we did it uh, in front of, you know, our fans, uh, not in full capacity, but at least, you know, a good percentage to cheer on on us and, and give us, you know, and enjoy this day today uh, that, um, that, you know, I think was very worth it. Kyle Pinnell. Hi, Gio. It seemed like Dyron Espria was everywhere on the field, whether it be on the left, um, creating that first goal or on the right in one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just what do you think of his performance today and how valuable is it for what the team wants to do on the field when he can be so active and play both wing sides pretty successfully like he did tonight? Yeah, Asprilla had a, a great match, and I think everyone played very, very well. Um, Asprilla, what he did very well is uh, he took advantage of his speed. Uh, he went in behind uh, the right back, Crisanto, and um, and he handled you know uh, that side uh, very well in, in making sure that uh, uh, that he was able to get there uh, in behind to put good crosses to be dangerous. Um, and he did the same in the second half as well, uh, on the left side, on the right side. But uh, uh, I, I believe everyone had a very good performance today. Everyone looked strong. Everyone had a great desire to do well. And there were moments in which I, you know, we enjoyed very much what we saw on the field. Joe Becker, KGW. Gio, congratulations on the win. Uh, it's Thank you. It's not often a team wins five nothing, especially in a big tournament like this. Uh, at what point did you kind of think hey, we're going to win this thing? And um, how much did you enjoy it going forward in the game, especially being at home with the fans there? Yeah, first of all, uh, every minute it counted, you know, every second to make sure that we did the things that we needed to do. Um, and I felt uh, that when we scored the third goal, it was uh, the moment in which uh, we, we felt now, you know, we, we have this game. Um, nevertheless, even though we played very well from the beginning, this team, it, it was very difficult. This is a team that tries to stretch you, try to play long balls, very direct. We guys on top that can, you know, challenge in the air. You know, when we saw the first half, they created some some chances. Um, I thought we defended very well. I thought that we were very strong, both sides of the ball. Um, but definitely, I feel that at the moment that was called the third goal when Valeri scored, um, that was the the key factor. And we did enjoy many moments in in this match. I thought the guys played very well. 
Nick Krupke, KPTV. <clears throat> Geo, obviously, 15% uh, capacity, whatever the case may be, it was better than what we saw over the summer. Uh, what does that do for you as a coach to feel that and to use your players that have at least somebody at their back? You know, we, we keep on saying how much we miss the fans, uh, but it's not until the moment that they're back, even though, uh, as you mentioned, in, in this capacity, uh, they were so loud, they were so passionate, they support, you know, us through the entire match. They enjoyed this result as much as we did, and and having them back, uh, it was phenomenal. It was such a good feeling to, to see them back in there. So hopefully, you know, little by little, we, we keep on getting more people back in the stadium, and it's such a big difference. So we, we're very fortunate that we had our fans back today. Conwell. Uh, Coach, we uh, got a hat trick from a Timbers player, something that is uh, a relative scarcity in the history of the club since joining MLS. Uh, can you talk about uh, Jimmy's goals, uh, what you saw from him today, and uh, uh, what it's like seeing one of you guys get a hat trick? I mean, you've, you've scored a few in your time, right? Yes, it happened, you know, in, in the past, but... Uh, I think we, we have been very close to to get the, the hat trick from different players, and Jimmy was able to you know get it uh, today. But uh, it was a collective effort. It was a great game because everyone on the field, those that started, those that came in, really performed well. Were very energetic. Followed the plan that we put in place, and um, and ultimately. Um, Jimmy was able to, you know, connect those uh, three times, and and we're so proud, you know, about his performance. But the entire team, I thought, you know, did uh, everything very well in order to deserve a very good win. Michael McCall. Hi there, Gio. It's a very busy month, obviously coming up for the team MLS season starting at the weekend. Can you talk a little bit about how this prepares you better for the season to come, as opposed to just sort of playing pre-season friendlies? And in particular, going into that game on Sunday against Vancouver, a team that maybe is nowhere near the level that you guys are at just now. I think the fact that we've been able to compete uh, at the moment is a good help for us to feel that at least we have been able to get some you know games to two games uh that counted two games in which we um had to perform and uh, the guys did very well so i think that is a, a positive uh, for us nevertheless managing uh mls and, and uh, conquer champions is, is not easy um but the mentality that we have in the team uh, gives me the feeling that everybody wants to contribute as we saw today you know the guys that come came from the from the bench um, really came into the game strong and this is very important for us to be able to make sure that we can stay competitive in in, uh, in mls especially starting as you mentioned against vancouver this this weekend we know there's going to be a tough match we know that uh, now they're going to be playing uh in a different venue and uh and they have made some uh, important signings as well so we expect you know to be a very competitive match but the fact that we played two games already i think is a, is a very positive thing for us to to have done so far time for one more question we'll go to carlos castellanos buenas profesor giovanni saludos carlos castellanos diario Díaz honduras como nos analiza nos puede analizar el partido digo no sé si desde su punto de vista el marcador refleja lo que realmente pasó en el partido y, y si considera o, o coincide con el técnico de, del maratón que dice que las diferencias económicas pues a la larga marcaron la tendencia de lo que pasó en, con este resultado. Saludos, profe. Sí, saludos. Eh, la realidad que yo sí creo que eh, lo que hicimos nosotros en la cancha futbolísticamente eh, nos dio la posibilidad de haber ganado el partido uh, de esta forma. Eh, con abultado marcador, sobre todo yo creo por lo que conseguimos en el segundo tiempo. Sabíamos que iba a ser un partido difícil, uh, entendíamos muy bien la lectura de lo que querían hacer acá en, en nuestra casa, querían aprovechar eh, el hecho de nuestra localía, eh, tratar de que nos abriéramos, tratar de poner uh, a jugadores veloces adelante para tratar de sacarnos ventaja. 
Yo creo que tácticamente el equipo eh, de Portland respondió muy bien. Creo que hicimos eh, un partido extraordinario, sobre todo en el segundo tiempo. Y yo creo que no solamente eh, la calidad de nuestros jugadores, sino yo creo también eh, la preparación de este partido eh, fue lo que eh, determinó al final el resultado que conseguimos. No hay que quitarle nada al maratón. Yo creo que vinieron a hacer su partido. Fueron complicados, sobre todo el primer tiempo. Tuvieron alguna oportunidad, uh, pero yo creo que se demostró que tácticamente y, y bueno, sí, individualmente el, el equipo eh, resultó y, y consiguió hacer cosas muy buenas. Yo creo que el maratón tiene buenos jugadores y que puede competir. Yo no, no veo al maratón eh, inferior en, en lo que es uh, eh, eh, plantilla. Uh, así que para mí las dos cosas fueron importantes el día de hoy. Wrap it up there. Thanks, coach.